What's going on everybody? It's the Hook Cam back again with another film breakdown and today we're going to be checking out San Francisco 49ers linebacker Fred Warner back to back linebacker videos out of me Roquan Smith last week Fred Werner this week who knows linebackers are a guilty pleasure of mine I always felt like I missed my calling should have played linebacker but I was a young buck back then couldn't figure things out now before I go ahead and dive on into this thing I got to give credit where credit's due Colt Bullock Bullock or Bullich, not 100% sure. Whoever you are, thank you, Colt. A uh, video that I posted on Jackson Kruger Sports Channel about Chris Jones. He gave the uh, the recommendation of Fred Werner, 100%. Great, great recommendation. Can't thank you enough. Now, before I go ahead and dive on in to this athletic freak who wears 54 for the Niners, if you could go ahead and hit that like button on this video, hit that subscribe button to my channel. And you know what? If you're a 49ers fan and you got a bunch of 49ers fans, friends out there, if you could share this video, that would just mean the world to me. Um, you know, just trying to get the stuff out there. You know, I like making people happy. You know, somebody, big Fred Werner fan, go ahead and share this bad boy. See what they think. Because I think the dude's an absolute freak, and I'm going to tell you why in this video. Now, here we go. First things first. The linebacker in today's NFL has to be able to cover. They have to be. The way offenses are going, they're spreading the rock out more. In my video that I talked about, nickel's not the new base. A way to get away from you being in a nickel so you're open up to getting gashed with the run is being able to be a linebacker who can be on the field, cover gaps, cover receivers, but also be able to run sideline to sideline. It's, it's almost a requirement in my eyes today. So with this first clip against the Bucks, we're going to see Fred Warner right here work across the formation is going to work right over, I believe, this crosser right here, this little pick route. And that's what I think that they're trying to set up. Boom, right here. He does a good job of locating, getting his eyes on this bunch, seeing this crosser right here, getting over the top of it. And then we're walling off number two right there, who obviously shuts his route down. We're looking for that quick completion. Jameis does a good job not throwing an interception, probably the only time this season. And then Fred Werner just sticking with him, man. I mean, this is a receiver. Fred Werner cutting off that, cutting off the inside, working back across, working through that catch point i really like this how he works through where the receiver's hands are he doesn't I, I don't see a lot of instances with him where i'm like oh that should have been pi even though he's a linebacker going up against a receiver and that might be a crutch for some guys he does a good job in this situation right hands are going up putting his hands right through that working through that tackle incomplete ball on a third down really really good job from him there and, and you know like i said i think that it, it's just such a good highlight for where this 49ers defense is they're athletic at every single level their defensive line is full of athletes their linebackers. They're building a very, very special defense, and they, they actually already have a very, very special defense. But moving on to this next play against Tampa Bay, something that I love about defenders is uh, that ball hawk. You know, when you think back to Tyran Matthew at LSU, and that's really what sticks out to me, and that dude w was a turnover machine. And it seems like something, not that's, it's almost like defensive guys, it's so, not mundane, but it's so monotonous every snap to, hey, wrap up, make the conservative play. I love it when guys take that chance. And that's what Fred Werner does in this situation, right? And you can see his arm if you watch his sleeve, right? Ball's caught, we're trying to swarm. Don't just make that tackle, right? Go for that ball, man. In this situation, you know you got help all around. Try and punch that thing out, which is exactly what he does. Great job on that big turnover inside the 10. You absolutely love to see that as a coach, as a fan, as whatever. Ever. This is just a great defensive play from him. I love his eyes on this as well. He doesn't get locked into the quarterback, looking at what's coming in front of him. Again, they're trying to push vertical. Good job. And then that punch right there, man. Great, great job right there. Getting that ball out, like I said, with the turnover before. And he's so key when they play teams like this, when they play teams like the Seahawks, when they play teams with athletic quarterbacks, he's an absolute stud. Now on this play, not necessarily about Russell Wilson, more about his ability to cover field, right? And what's going to happen here, Seahawks are just running this toss. Really simple, right? Little pin and pull with their tackle and their H right here. Look at this, man. Getting over the top of all of this and knifing in to make a play. Tough to do, right? Because if he gets locked up right here by this guard, this thing's got an alley to go. Right, this is a great job by him working over the top of this thing, shedding off that block, working inside out, and making a play on that running back. Tough to do. Something that you don't see a ton from linebackers in the NFL. The good ones you do. But again, that's something that's so important, so difficult to do that I really wanted to highlight on. Now, this is a big play right here. Third down and one for the Seattle Seahawks. They're going to give a little boot action right here. Roll Russell Wilson out. Get that man moving. We're going to have our underneath right here, which is going to be covered up by a defensive back, as you'll see. Okay, we've got a defensive back here. Fred Werner's right here. Now, 
you essentially are trying to set up a pick play, right? Boom, trying to pick here. Fred Werner's going to run with it. But what happens is uh, defensive back does a good job sticking with that thing, right? Now, Fred Werner's going to drop off slowly because he knows that he's going to be able to close on it. I just love the awareness out of this play, right? We're going to drop off slowly, get your hands up, knock that ball away. Big third down and one stop right there. And again, it's something that not every linebacker can do. You have to have the mobility. You have to have the athleticism to go and do something like this. And once again, I, we talk about his speed first and foremost foremost really good job getting coached up and something that that tells me that he's coachable first off he's in the nfl every guy in the nfl most guys in the nfl i should say are going to be coachable but in this situation right you look where the action of this play is going it's going this way but where's he going he's filling to this side he knows third and one probably hammered into his head all week from coaches hey they like to run their boot action on third down does a good job running with that slip player and then just kind of falls off to get his hands up and knock that ball away now, while Fred Werner does such an excellent job against the pass, it's not like he can't cover the run at all either. He does a really good job of sticking with plays, uh, finding gaps, filling holes, which is exactly what you need to be able to do as a linebacker. And yeah, I understand that the NFL is moving towards more of a pass-heavy offense, absolutely. However, there's still teams who love to pound the rock, which means that you got to have linebackers who can find gaps. So in this play right here, interesting setup from the Seahawks. I think I know what they're trying to do here, though. They're working a double team out to this linebacker at the edge, one-on-one -on -one with your center and nose guard. We're working a, uh, a combo with our guard and tackle, and then we're basically running, I believe this is duo, where we're reading the Mike linebacker here. Now, as Chris Carson works upfield, uh, he tries to cut this thing back, thinking that the middle linebacker is sucked in on a block however Fred Werner does a really good job fighting off that block and making a shoestring tackle who knows where that thing's going if he's not there in time now another feather in the cap for Fred Werner is is his ability to rush the passer and, and in this play specifically and really throughout the season for the 49ers we saw their defensive coordinator put that defense in the best position time and time again with a number of blitz packages twists pressures you can you name it this guy did it I mean just a phenomenal defensive coordinator out there now with this play what I love from Fred Werner and again he's not supposed to be the highlighted guy in this pressure right really what you're trying to do here is first off trying to confuse the quarterback by dropping this cap back here right after that you're knifing in here excuse me he's working really more into that gap Warner's working across the center's face and it really should be for Bosa coming underneath here but what happens is is Bosa's way too upfield I think with that I think he was supposed to loop underneath um, but Fred Warner doesn't give up on this play and that's something that I think is is impressive and, and once again it's one of those things that it's like hey, we've, the guys have been told that since Pop Warner, right? But to do that and replicate it in the pros is another story. And then on top of that, he's going after the football as well, which I think is really impressive. Now, moving on to this next play again, just his ability to cover space, right? And this is just a really simple dump off to the running back, but just check out the space that this dude covers. I mean, <laughs> we're almost at the 35, balls getting thrown to the 20. We're covering that space in a flash, working inside out, pressing that running back to the sidelines. Really good, disciplined play right there. And that's, again, something that sticks out to me a ton about 54 for the San Francisco 49ers is he's very disciplined with what he does, which is so valuable as a linebacker. But again, working inside out, pressing that guy to the sidelines, great job on that. And again, this game against the Packers was, you know, obviously just, it was a slaughter. Let's be honest here. Sorry, Packers fans. It was a tough one for you guys, which happens to teams in the NFL. Come on. It's the big leagues for a reason. The best of the best playing every Sunday. Right, but in this play right here, we're going to get a really simple inside zone. Supposed to be a good box to run against, right? We've got wide nines out here from our defensive ends. Right, our two defensive tackles in a, what what is an over front, and it should just be pretty simple and dialed up, right? Working up here, working up here with this combo, but Fred Werner does a great job of filling that gap right off the snap, essentially working up field, making a play on it. And again, I can't state enough how valuable that is for a linebacker. But on top of being able to fill gaps like Fred Werner does, he can also cover. Like I said before in that first clip with Tampa Bay, and this one we're going to see Hollywood Brown. Pretty good receiver, right? Rookie last year. Fred Warner is working to stay in front of number three. Does a really good job working with Hollywood, who cuts this thing off underneath on a post. Fred Warner doesn't give up on it, though, right? He sticks with him. Again, the, what I love about this is the attention to detail. It's the discipline. This is what makes him so good right in a lot of situations i think linebackers are getting called for a pi on this because maybe they're not as fast maybe they're not as quick on this break right but we're going to see right here right the good job stopping the film right there cam i'm going to pat myself on the back but we're going to come across with our front hand right here right through that catch point tracking that ball the whole way laying out for it man 
That's a great play by Fred Warner. That's not something that every linebacker can do. That's like, once again, I know I've repeated myself a thousand times, but that's what makes him so valuable to this team. Now, what we're going to get here, and I love this uh, a goal line situation, right? We're just going to get a really simple inside zone with a wham working our combo right here. Fred Warner's going to come right off of this double team, and he's going to make a play on this thing at the goal line. Just phenomenal football right here. Great, great team football, to be honest with you, for the Niners. Everybody getting there, but once again, the nose to sniff this thing out. Coming tight as hell off of this double team. Look at this, right? A lot of times, I think linebackers come a little too far upfield, and then they can crease this thing from the back. Right, but we stick nice and tight to this double team. We squeeze right there, get across this running back, boom, get our helmet across, wait for other guys to come help us out as we're driving our legs. Great, great job from 54 on that play. Now, moving on to the playoffs and something that I think was uh, an interesting storyline in my eyes, at least, when the Vikings were going to play the 49ers, is how was this team going to play against a, a run-heavy, pound-the-rock approach. And we'd seen it before, right? We'd seen it when they played the Ravens and when they played other teams. The Seahawks like do their fair share of running the rock, not as well as they used to. But in this situation, you know, how, how are they going to play, man? This is a true, like, ground-and-pound team. And they were up to the task. I mean, Dalvin Cook di didn't sniff anywhere near 100 yards. I think he might have been at 70. But in this play right here, interesting play from the Vikings, too, by the way. Really what they're trying to run is power. We're working down, comboing here to the backside. They're going to end up trying to pull for Fred Werner working out right here and then folding underneath with their uh, with their Y or U tight end whichever you guys want to call it um, interesting just in the fact that you got two guys working up in here I, I haven't seen this be in crazy good from when I've tried to coach it. It just hasn't worked. However, I'm sure the Vikings run it a hell of a lot better and coach it a hell of a lot better than I ever did. Uh, Fred Werner right here just inserting into this gap, doing a great job of coming underneath on this thing, getting out of the way of this puller and making a play on Dalvin Cook. Just a phenomenal job from him, really beating those guys to a gap. And then on top of this, right, once again, just the coverage ability. This was in the NFC Championship game. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's rinse and repeat with this guy, but that's not a bad thing because he does so many things very, very well for the 49ers once again with Jimmy Graham um, working vertically on here and it's you know I know Jimmy Graham didn't have the best of time in Green Bay with the Packers but this is tough to do against any tight end especially a guy with with the resume of Jimmy Graham working a wall off three we see that he's taking it vertical Rogers is going to put that thing on the money every time once again doing a good job getting that hand up knocking that thing away and not getting called for the PI I think that's very very impressive and then of course his interception in the Super Bowl right arguably the best quarterback we've got in the game today I would make the argument that he is again just working back working deep right we're getting cover three out of the 49ers here we're coming down here to possibly wall off a crosser Fred Warner does a good job just getting depth man that depth is your friend when you're running zone like this just staying deep reading the quarterback's eyes and of course being the opportunist here and making that interception for the 49ers so Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. Just highlighting what Fred Warner does so well for the 49ers, how good he is. I, I think he's kind of underrated uh, when, you know, guys get, you know, rated by the NFL top 100, whatever top linebackers in the league. I feel like he's a little bit forgotten. And I don't think he should be forgotten because I think he's an absolute freak. He's dominant. And he's everything you could want for a linebacker. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to my channel, The Hook Cam, as well as share this bad boy. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Share this to a Niners fan. If you could, that would just mean the world to me. Uh, hit that subscribe button as well to Jackson Kruger Sports. I'm sure this will end up on his channel. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm sure I'll be back soon with some more news and or breakdowns. But uh, that's all I got for you today. Stay safe out there. Wash those hands. I'll see you next time.